Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we will look back at the 1987 American movie Adventures in Babysitting. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Elizabeth Shue, an accomplished American actress, rose to prominence with her role in The Karate Kid, 1984. Known for her versatility, she earned an Academy Award nomination for Leaving Las Vegas, 1995. Shu has showcased her talent in both film and TV, captivating audiences worldwide. Penelope Ann Miller, a versatile actress, has impressed audiences for over three decades. From Chaplin to Desperate Housewives, she delivers powerful and memorable performances. Miller fearlessly tackles complex characters, bringing them to life with authenticity. With enduring talent, she captivates viewers worldwide. In the movie, Bradley Whitford showcased his personal touch by featuring his own Camaro, complete with the So Cool license plate. The plate was an exact match to the one he proudly sported on his own car. Talk about authentic! Keith Coogan, grandson of actor Jackie Coogan, is a talented and versatile actor. From his memorable debut in Ride a Wild Pony to his comedic brilliance in Adventures in Babysitting, Coogan captivates audiences. His TV appearances and voice acting in shows like The Waltons and The Little Mermaid further showcase his talent. Coogan's impact on the industry is undeniable. Anthony Rapp, a versatile actor, gained fame for his role in Rent. From stage to screen, he captivates with complex characters. As a writer and musician, his memoir Without You inspires. Rapp's bravery in sharing his experience sparks conversations on consent. With talent and advocacy, Rapp leaves a lasting impact on the industry. The tow truck driver accidentally collides with a lawn jockey upon arriving home, leading to a hilarious tradition of toppling jockeys. This comical trend is humorously referenced in both Home Alone and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, masterfully helmed by Chris Columbus. Maya Bruton, an American actress, gained fame in the 1980s for her role as Sarah Anderson in Adventures in Babysitting, 1987. With her comedic timing and charm, she left a lasting impression on audiences. Bruton showcased her versatility in projects like Parker Lewis Can't Lose, 1990-1993. Though she stepped away from acting, her impact remained significant. Vincent D'Onofrio, a versatile actor, known for intense performances. From Full Metal Jacket to Law and Order, Criminal Intent, he captivates with depth. A director and producer, he explores storytelling. Donofrio's talent and commitment make him a remarkable presence in film, TV, and theater. Saras Marvel Comics passion echoes that of director Chris Columbus. At one time, he aspired to become a Marvel comic artist, yet he reconsidered due to its solitary nature. He opted for collaborative work, favoring interactions with others. Bradley Whitford, the talented American actor, is known for his captivating performances on TV and film. From the West Wing to Transparent, his versatile acting skills have made him a sought-after talent. Whitford's commitment to social change and his ability to bring depth to his characters solidify his status in Hollywood. With each role, he leaves an indelible mark. George Newbern, a versatile and talented actor, is best known for his portrayal of Superman in Justice League. With captivating performances in TV shows like Grey's Anatomy and films such as Father of the Bride, he has won the hearts of audiences worldwide. Newbern's voice acting in video games like Batman, Arkham Knight showcases his remarkable range. With his talent and magnetic presence, he continues to leave an indelible mark on popular culture. The rival gangs on the L train taunt each other for a brawl at the crossing of Devereux Street. 
It's a playful nod to director Chris Columbus' wife Monica Devereux and father-in-law Clark Devereux, who make appearances in the film. Read.